Hello everyone. Um, so for my robot project, I decided to build on top of my project that I did last semester. Um, but really it, it's um, sort of a new project combined with the old project. So the new project was to build a button for the robot. So the hummingbird kit doesn't come with a button. So I decided um, to take one of the activities that we do with the Raspberry Pi, which is um, to build a whoopee cushion, which is just a simple button. Uh, so what I did was I built a button out of paper plates, uh, some packing foam, foil, and copper tape. Uh, you can use foil instead of copper tape if you don't have that. But essentially what this creates is a little pressure button. Uh, and what this little pressure button lets you do is when I press it, it triggers the motor. Uh, or in this case servo, uh, to play the rock, paper, scissors game that I have. So before I had to press space bar on the keyboard to be able to do that. Um, and now all I, all I have to do is, is press the little button and you'll see uh, the light there change telling you whether it picks rock, paper, or scissors randomly. Uh, and every time I press the button, you'll see it will pick a different option. Um, Clearly, it is picking just uh, rock all the time. Uh, then pitch from random one to three. So each time it should pick a random one. Um, sometimes you'll get the same one. Um, but the challenge with this one was um, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, electronics that you have to know to be able to sort of start building a project like this. If you notice. I have the buttons connected to the to the sensors uh, section of the hummingbird board. On, on the hummingbird board, I don't know if you can notice here, um, but there's a little resistor there. Uh, so what the resistor does is that it limits the amount of power that goes back into the into the hummingbird board. So I have on here where it's it's under S. Um, you'll see that both my resistor and one of my connections from the button is coming in and on the positive I have the other end and I'm essentially grounding it using the negative uh, which is which is where the resistor is plugged in um, so essentially what this does is it lets me control the amount of power that goes back uh, which is then what I'm able to uh, control within scratch so essentially it's the voltage that goes back into the board which I can then take and manipulate into scratch so let me show you what it looks like in scratch so you'll see in scratch I have a couple different things when I press the flag what it does is that forever it creates a new variable called voltage and sets that to look for the voltage on the hummingbird board on port 4 which is where I have it plugged in. Um, and then what it does is it runs uh, my game code essentially uh, on forever. And the very first thing it does is if it, it checks to see if the voltage is greater than two. As you notice, when I press the button, the voltage will move so it will say four point something 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 every time I press the button um, and so what that what it essentially does is that lets me control uh, my game and I'm using it for a game but you can build the button like this and use it for uh, really anything that you want to do you can have it you know become a game controller you can have it do a trigger LED on and off and so again, this really ties into the idea of building circuits and building electronics in a really simple way. So again, all it took was paper plates, foil, and some copper tape to build this project. Hope you enjoy it. Did. Thanks.